Avengers Secret Wars is set to be the culmination of the multiverse saga in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. After a few pushbacks, it's now scheduled to come out in 2027, and a lot of rumours have begun to speculate about who the director might be. So let's look at some of these rumours and discuss who should direct Avengers Secret Wars. Hello and welcome to Cinemates, and if you're new here, please subscribe to see more videos like this. As I mentioned, there are a lot of rumours going around right now about potential directors for Avengers Secret Wars, so I thought it'd be fun to take a closer look at some of these possibilities. Now, it's important to remember that these suggestions are just rumours. There's not much fact backing up some of these supposed leaks, and we have the writers and actors strike going on right now, and so I find it very unlikely that there's actually been much going on in this space, but it's still fun to talk about. When we're assessing who we think might make a good director, we need to think about what Marvel are looking for from an Avengers director. So let's look at the past Avengers directors. We have Joss Whedon who did Avengers 1 and 2 and the Russo brothers who did Infinity War and Endgame. Both of these Avengers directors actually have a background in TV. They both created financially and critically successful films in the MCU and both of them show that they had a good comic book knowledge beyond just the films that they were working on. Joss Whedon was involved as a writer for both of his films, while the Russos were paired with writers Marcus and McFeely, who they worked closely with for all four of their movies in the MCU. Both Joss Whedon and the Russo brothers could fit into the MCU very easily. While they're very competent directors, they don't necessarily have a strong or overbearing tone or distinct creative flair. Sure, Whedon prefers quippy dialogue and the Russos prefer a more grounded feeling, but their tones generally fit within the overall feeling of the MCU, compared with other directors who might be able to bring a more distinct flair Either. But I think this more neutral tone works for an Avengers movie where you're bringing in so many characters with their own tones, it helps to have a director who has a more balanced tone. Working on these big multi-million dollar Avengers projects is not the same as a director working on their own small movie. It has a high level of studio interference and fast turnaround. They found with the Russos a set of directors who they could work well with working in the studio environment while maintaining independence and without losing too much of the artistic vision. Part of the issues we have seen in phase four and five is high level of studio interference and Joss Whedon found this himself while he was working on Age of Ultron. When Marvel replaced Joss Whedon with the Russos, they looked for directors who could fit within the tone of the universe who had increasing financial and critical success and had experience working with Marvel with the actors and in this environment. And I think Marvel will continue to recruit internally when looking for their next Avengers director. Immediately, the obvious choice for this that fits this criteria would be James Gunn. He directed three Guardians of the Galaxy movies within the MCU, all receiving financial and critical success. He's directed cameos and post credit scenes for other movies within the MCU and was executive producer for Infinity War and Endgame. So clearly, he knows how to work in the studio environment. While he does have more of a distinct tone with his humour and edginess, I think he'd be able to tone it down for an Avengers movie because he's certainly going to have to tone it down for his Superman film. Now, of course, James Gunn is not going to be the director for Secret Wars as he is now leading the DC universe. But I do think if he hadn't gone over to DC, he would be a serious contender and the obvious choice for the next Avengers film. Looking at other internal Marvel talent, the next choice would be John Watts, who directed the MCU Spider-Man trilogy. He clearly works well within this universe. His movies have received consistent critic scores. Each film has continued to earn more money than the last. While I don't think the quality of each film has necessarily improved, I think his skills behind the camera have improved. With what becoming more confident with green screen work and action set pieces. Not only has he worked with the Spider-Man cast, but he's worked with major MCU actors within each film and established actors from past Marvel movies. For a relatively unknown director to come in and work with Downey Jr., Sam Jackson, Cumberbatch, Willem Dafoe, Michael Keaton, it's pretty impressive and so I think he would be able to work with the larger cast of an Avengers film. Also Secret Wars is most likely going to be a multiverse movie and John Watts has already dabbled with this concept, very successfully bringing back the past versions of Spider-Man and their villains and if the multiverse cameos in Secret Wars gets a similar treatment then it could be pretty successful. If you look at the route the Russos took to get their Avengers gig, going from a Captain America movie within their MCU to Civil War feeling like an Avengers audition and then going to the Avengers themselves. I think Watts has taken a similar path going from MCU Spider-Man then to a multiverse cameo Spider-Man movie. He feels like a logical pick for a multiverse cameo Avengers movie. Now personally I think his tone would suit something like Young Avengers or the X-Men reboot more matching his high school youthful fun vibe but he handled the more dark and serious elements well in No Way Home and so I'm sure he could do a good job with an Avengers film. Working in the studio environment for three Spider-Man films and juggling the difficult relationship between Sony and Disney I'm sure that the studio input for an Avengers film wouldn't affect him. John Watts was also hired to make the MCU Fantastic Four film and I think that sets up his trajectory nicely to an Avengers movie from Spidey to Multiverse to Fantastic Four to Secret Wars but he actually stepped down from that project as he was burnt out from too much superhero work 
And so again, I think it's unlikely that they will get him for Secret Wars. And if he does return to superhero films, I think it's most likely for a Spider-Man 4. So we need to look elsewhere in the MCU and the next logical choice feels like Destin Daniel Cretton. Now, so far he has only directed one MCU film with Shang-Chi and somehow he managed to get the offer to direct Avengers Kang Dynasty. My issues with Shang-Chi were about the forced MCU references and the big CGI ending, which felt out of place in the smaller, more character-based martial arts film that we saw in the first half. But those issues, the MCU references, the big CGI battles, aren't such issues if you apply them to an Avengers movie, because that's where I actually expect to see those things. And so I don't hate the idea of Cretan taking on Kang Dynasty. Now, the original idea was for Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars to release in the same year, both in 2025. And so because of this short turnaround, they needed a different director for each film. However, since then, the movies have been delayed to 26 and 27, and with the ongoing strikes, potentially even later. And so now, with a year's gap, it's not quite so impossible to have the same director take on both projects. We've seen Marvel do something similar before. Considering how quickly these movies were originally going to release after each other, it makes me think that the movies must be connected in some way, similar to Infinity War and Endgame. And Kang Dynasty seems to be setting up the Avengers fighting different variants of Kang, and then maybe Secret Wars is the different Avengers variants fighting the main Kang. If these movies are connected, it does make sense to have the same director take on both projects to allow synergy between the films. And so if they can get the timings right, I think this could work. Now, looking at some of the other rumors and leaks, I've seen Ryan Coogler's name come up, the director of both Black Panther films. I'm not sold on this pick for Secret Wars. Don't get me wrong, he's a fantastic director, one of the best directors working in the MCU. He is an Oscar-nominated director. But I think he works for Wakanda and not necessarily for the MCU. He knows those characters, he knows that culture, and he knows that world, but not necessarily the wider Marvel Universe. The strongest elements of his Black Panther films are the cultural aspects, the world building and the tone and the themes. That's what he brings to the table. Whereas the weaker elements of his movies are the more traditional superhero elements like the fights, the CGI and the third acts. These are the things that you need to work in an Avengers movie. So while he's a great director, I don't think he's right for Secret Wars. Another name we've seen recently from within the MCU is Sean Levy, who we haven't seen his work yet, but he is directing Deadpool 3, which is connected to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, it's way too early to know if he's a good choice. We haven't seen what he brings to the table, how he handles bringing Deadpool to this universe, and how he handles the multiverse cameos. And really, that's why I think his name has come up, because Deadpool 3 is a multiverse movie, and Secret Wars most likely is as well. And that may be a transferable skill. The director himself has been asked this, whether he wants to direct Secret Wars and he's played it coy and I don't think this is confirmation of anything but it could be him keeping his options open. Really we need to see Deadpool 3 to assess this one but Deadpool is so different from the rest of Marvel I'm not sure if it could work. Now the other big rumour we've seen recently is Sam Raimi who directed Doctor Strange 2 but more famously the original Spider-Man trilogy. This means he has experience with superhero movies, experience working in the MCU, experience working with a movie about the multiverse where he brought in other past actors and cameos and experience having actually worked on Marvel films set outside of the MCU. That is a pretty impressive resume that really lends itself to Secret Wars. And how poetic would it be that the director of a film massively responsible for the current superhero landscape could end up directing a film culminating all of the Marvel superhero movies? His Doctor Strange sequel had a pretty good critical reception and has been the second highest grossing film in the multiverse saga after No Way Home. So it feels like a pretty safe bet. In that movie, not only did he direct cameos, but he directed Doctor Strange, Wong, and America Chavez, all characters who feel like key players for the multiverse saga. And if we look at how the Russos worked with the same writers across their movies, well, the writer of Multiverse of Madness is also scheduled to write Avengers Secret Wars, so it would make sense to continue pairing that writer with the same director. That said, there are some issues here. Doctor Strange 2 had a massively troubled production, with a director loss and multiple, and I mean multiple, script rewrites. Parts of that movie were changed last minute with a large amount of studio interference. The movie came out okay, but it might not be something that Raimi would want to go through again. How much of the final product was actually Raimi's vision? Would an acclaimed director really want to feel like they're second to the wishes of the studio? I just can't imagine that's something Raimi would want to go through again, and I don't imagine the studio giving him complete control of a film that big. Also, Raimi has a very distinct style. He has heavy horror roots and a goofy campy tone. These were some of the more interesting parts of Doctor Strange, when you actually saw his vision come through. But I don't think they quite suit an Avengers movie. I'd much rather see Raimi get to finish the Doctor Strange trilogy working on a project from the start with much less studio interference and be allowed to go full Raimi weird and horror, then see another compromised vision as Raimi tries to squeeze his style around what the studio wishes for Avengers Secret Wars. While we're talking about established directors, one of the more 
surprising names that has come out recently was Alfonso Cuaron, a director from outside of the MCU and a multi Oscar winning director. Recently he directed Roma but more famously he's directed Gravity and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I really don't trust this leak, it just feels so out of left field and different from how Marvel usually hire, I don't think they'd want him for Secret Wars. Last time when they hired for an Academy Award win it really didn't work out well for Marvel and it's a lot less of a risk choosing a director like that for Eternals than for a massive Avengers movie. Yes he has worked within franchises before with Harry Potter but even that third Harry Potter film has a very distinct tone and look that feels very different from the others and again I don't think Marvel would want that for Avengers. And would he even want to do it coming off the back of an Oscar win would he really want to put his name on the line to potentially being restricted on what he can do by a studio. Now I'm not against big name directors coming in I'm really not but I just can't imagine it working for such a big movie. I think there are other projects in the MCU that could work better for his style something like Blade, Man, Thing, Black Knight or if he wanted a team up movie Midnight Suns feels more like his style than Avengers and gives him room for more creative freedom. However if this rumour is true if he is actually in talks to direct Secret Wars it makes me think there's something there something there that he saw that excites him and made him want to come to the MCU and that's really an interesting and exciting prospect for Secret Wars. Looking back to the MCU one name I've seen is John Favreau director of Iron Man and Iron Man 2. While he's not directed in the MCU since 2010 he stayed working in the world with the actors portraying Happy Hogan so while he has been critical of his experience having to rush Iron Man 2 he still clearly has a good relationship with the studio and he's continued to work with Disney directing Jungle Book and Lion King and working on The Mandalorian and so he is used to massive multi-million dollar productions. He clearly has a good concept of this world the characters and the tone and again it would be kind of poetic for the guy who started all of this to work on one of the Avengers movies culminating a saga. He kind of feels like the pick that they'd bring in if they couldn't get anyone else. And of course there's one final pick I think the pick that I've seen the most that the fans want and that's for the Russo bros to return and it doesn't feel completely impossible. In interviews the Russos have said that they were done with the MCU except if they could return for Secret Wars a series that they were very fond of growing up so they may be interested. However in other interviews they've talked about how hard it was working on Infinity War and Endgame and how this affected their personal life and because of this they may not want to come back for Secret Wars. That said it may explain why they've gone with a different director for Kang Dynasty. That way the Russos don't have to work on two movies back to back like they did with Infinity War and Endgame which was a part they struggled with that back to back filming. So instead they could give Kang Dynasty to one director and then let the Russos take the other half to ease some of their concerns about working on movies back to back. With Marvel not being the consistent success that they were back in 2019 the Russos may also be reluctant to return in case they risk ruining their Marvel legacy. They have a very consistent clean sweep across all four of their Marvel films, all of which are considered some of the best MCU films by fans and coming back to Marvel during a much less successful phase could feel like a risk that they don't want to take and they'd rather end it on the high. That said Marvel may be able to make them an offer that they can't refuse and if they returned and they made it work they'd totally be seen as the saviors of Marvel and with their track record in the MCU they do feel like the only ones who might be able to tie everything together and pull it off. So these are the main names that I've seen thrown around in the supposed leaks and rumours of who might direct Avengers Secret Wars. Some of them are surprising, some of them are intriguing and some of them are expected and it will be interesting to see who they go with. When the Russos took over from Whedon it felt like a very logical continuation from Civil War to Infinity War and I don't think there were really any questions about if they were the right choice for the job. They were the obvious pick and it immediately felt like they were the right choice but I don't know if there's anyone in the MCU right now who feels like the obvious choice, the logical continuation or the safe hands which still leaves us with the question who do you think should direct Avengers Secret Wars? I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think should direct Secret Wars? Is it someone from this list or should it be someone else? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps my channel out so much. And if you're new around here, please subscribe for more videos like this on Marvel, DC, Star Wars, or anything else amazing going on in cinema right now. But for now, thanks for watching Cinemaze.